Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about things that I've been loving lately. It was going to be uh, things that I've been loving in the month of June, but... Um, June? July? July, actually. But I recorded it and I don't know what happened. The file got corrupted and yeah, that's my life. But anyways, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Daniel. Here we love to do no makeup, makeup type of looks, very natural. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also hit the notification button. If you guys want to follow me for more content, you guys can follow me on any social media, on Instagram or TikTok at Daniel's Vibe. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in, all up close and personal. We're going to first start off with priming the face. And these two products from Road Skin, I mean... I don't know, I've been missing out and I didn't want to believe the hype. And guys, the hype is real. First, we're going to start off with their glazing milk. This um, has, you know what, I don't even know the ingredients, but I just know that this on the skin really feels truly so refreshing, so relaxing and it just feels like your skin is literally just drinking this up and enjoying it it just feels amazing on the skin it feels cooling um, it feels like it, it's been in the fridge <laughs> and I love it under the eyes as well now I honestly wouldn't use this like it doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't feel oily, but I am oily, right? So I wouldn't use this as a full-on primer for like a day that, you know, like a hot day. Um, but besides that, this, this at night, honestly, when I use this, I use this as a treat to my skin. Um, and it just feels so good on the skin. Let's see if it tells me here. Let me read the claims to this. Okay, so I went to their website and the claims to this is a nutrient rich lightweight essence that boosts barrier function and provides immediate luminous hydration. And honestly, it's just so refreshing, very hydrating. It doesn't feel oily and it doesn't look greasy either. It leaves such a nice, supple, just finish to your skin. Um, Actually, I had applied this to my boyfriend and he hardly ever, I always tell, have him try, you know, different skincare products and he can care less. But with this, he honestly couldn't, he wasn't, he couldn't stop talking about how good it felt on his skin. And he has very, very sensitive skin and his skin did not react to this bad, in any bad way. So if you have sensitive skin and you're looking for very hydrating um, moisturizer you should definitely check this out now the next product by road skin is their peptide uh, lip treatment and I have it in the shade watermelon another amazing comfortable formula I love this hands down one of the best um, lip treatments comfortable lip treatments I've ever tried these two together just on a day where you want you know nothing on your face but you just want to hydrate and you know moisturize your face these two are just the perfect duel now a primer that i have been loving is this milk makeup hydro grip primer primer and this just really i mean it's a cult favorite for a reason it really does help your makeup last for a long time and it also grips your makeup really nicely. And if you're oily skin, don't shy away from this. This, I feel like it actually helps my, it, it helps control my oils. So yeah, been loving that primer. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to base and these two here have been a really good duel for me. It's the Full Filter Concealer from Huda Beauty in the shade Pink Pomelo and the uh, Light Reflecting Eye Brightener from NARS and I have it in the shade Impossible Dream. So 
This one, what I like to use it for, it's not as a brightener, but more as a corrector, because um, it does have a very, you know, peach undertone. So it helps correct any darkness that I have on my face. And when I mean darkness, anywhere I shave, um, I get like a natural shadow from shaving. What I've been doing, you know, just grabbing some and applying it anywhere I've shaved. And it really helps correct any darkness. And a little goes a long way with this formula. And it just, it's a really thin texture. It blends really easily on the skin. Now, because of the shade, I do have to be careful with it because it can look, you know, very orangey. So, I just need to make sure I like blend it in nicely. And now for like under the eyes or giving a brightening effect, I've been loving this pink pomelo from Huda Beauty. And let me show you the shade. This is definitely a pinky. It's a peachy but it shade, but it leans more pink. So the effect that it gives my under eye is just really nice. It really gives, um, it brightens it up, but it also gives it like a fresh um, appearance. So it like really freshens up my under eye and a little goes a long way and I always forget. Um, this formula is also very thin, thinner than the NARS, um, but this again, just a little goes a long way. The formula really feels super lightweight. It doesn't even feel like I applied anything and it has some blurring properties as well because I feel every, wherever I apply it, it like kind of really smooths that area out now for bronzer and highlighter and just giving my skin a really juicy glow i've been loving the western atelier um liquid super loaded in the shade peau de soleil um the formula of this is just so beautiful you don't need much and it is a very juicy Formula. I wouldn't say oily necessarily because it really, you know, just pl it plumps up my skin. It gives me, you know, a subtle warmth and it does contain, you know, a glow like shimmers, but it's a very natural glow. There's no like shimmer particles that you can see and it just feels good on the skin. And again, it's not an oily, it is an oily texture, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, yeah, I really do love it. And what I've been doing, what I've been using this, because obviously I am oily, so I can't use this, you know. Um, I have to be careful with this. So what I've been doing, I've just been using it on like no makeup days where, you know, I just want to give my skin something extra. I've been using this more like a moisturizer and I'll, I'll apply it as a blush, as a bronzer, as a highlighter. And it just gives my skin a really nice glow and it plumps up my skin, makes it look juicy, healthy. Love this formula, it's so nice. Now for blush, not this here, we have the Givenchy Prisma Libre Blush in the shade Tefeta Rose, or Rose. I have a love and hate with this. Um, the packaging, I mean, it's stunning, it's beautiful, but it's so complicated and messy. And this puff is a joke, to be honest. Um, this formula, the way it applies is so beautiful, but just, I, I wish they would have been more creative when it comes to 
how you dispense this product. It gets messy, you have to apply it here. Um, it just gets everywhere and I don't like, I, I hate this component. So what I've been doing, I'll just literally just tap. Did you guys see that? Now I got all over my chair. So honestly, if this, if I had, if this is, um, this is a hate and love product. Like I would not repurchase this and um, I would not recommend this blush, but it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Let me show you. But yeah, I would honest, because of the component, how messy it is, I, this is a no for me. Like I wouldn't repurchase this. I actually wanted to return it but I had thrown the box already and I just didn't want to, you know, go to Sephora and return it, return a product without a box. So I ended up keeping it. And, you know, it's just, the it's beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, the way it applies on the skin, it literally looks like flush, a flush from within. I love how this looks on the, on the face, but yeah, I just wouldn't repurchase this. I'm pretty sure, you know, like I can get the same effect with a different blush. Maybe I would, you know, just have to really blend that other blush. But oh, it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I don't know if it's translating through the camera, but the way this blush looks, and actually let me swatch it for you guys. And this is how the blush looks on my face. It really just like freshens up my skin and it does have a slight scent. It smells really nice and fresh, but nothing that lingers, nothing too heavy. And the way this applies on the skin is just so beautiful. Um, yeah. I just, I hate how messy it is. Anyways. Let's move on to the next product. Actually, that's it for makeup. I'm gonna end it with skincare. I've been using this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream at night. I've been using it as a night cream. It feels so good on the skin. It's a very thick moisturizer. It really just, you know, hydrates the crap out of your skin really do love this i just wouldn't use this during the day because i'm oily so this is a heavier you know cream now we're gonna end it with jewelry here i have nealaya and um yeah this is a new jewelry company to me i've been you know wearing their products for the past month um they've sent me you know a couple of products and i am an affiliate with them but the quality of their jewelry is just really amazing. This is their pastel pearls. Um, feels heavy, looks stunning. And yeah, if you guys are interested, I have a discount code, Daniels5, 15% off. This on a black outfit looks so cool. And let me show you what else they sent me. And they also sent me this gold, um, bracelet looks so cool feels heavy feels nice they also sent me this pearl bracelet with you know some gold on it as well and this other pearl bracelet and these are real pearls guys so this and this one feels the heaviest and I wore this to a music event the other day and the through like two or three people came up to me saying where I got it if it were real and it and yeah this just feels so nice and it complements any outfit so if you guys are looking for jewelry or pearls um look no further check out Nealaya the quality of their products are amazing they're all handmade in LA, um, here in LA, I believe they have either a location in downtown LA or Beverly.
Beverly Hills. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like my video. Also, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button. I'll be linking everything I use in the description box. If you guys have any questions on anything, feel free to comment down below. You guys can follow me on any social media on Instagram, TikTok, at Daniels5. And that does it for this video. I'm done with you guys. Bye.